Thank you, Happy. First of all, your reaction to today's news? Um, again, we're still stunned, um, even though we've known all along that this, is, uh, this, this was almost inevitable. It still comes as a shock that they're actually, you know, they've actually ratified the sentences and are, are now you know, in the process of, 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 of going ahead with it. What's your message now to the Commonwealth leaders who are gathered here? <laughs> well, all this week we've heard about uh, <coughs> the leaders saying we must um, deal with Nigeria softly through softly, softly diplomacy. Well, um, if that's going to work, they need to do the softly, softly diplomacy needs to work now because uh, by tomorrow it may be too late. Realistically, what do you think they can and what do you think they should do now? Um, it's difficult to say. I mean, the whole question of sanctions is, is a difficult thing and I gather can't really be affected till after the, uh, after the conference. So I think what needs to be done is uh, behind quiet doors, they need to have strong words with the Nigerian authorities and the regime. Um, to leave them in no doubt as to what the outcome uh, would be for them in the international community if they, were, if, they took, if they carry out these sentences. The Secretary General himself is obviously a fellow countryman. Do you intend making any appeals to him or where do you go from here? Where does the campaign go from here? Um, on the first question, I think he's already going to make a statement. I mean, uh, I gather he has to be careful um, not, not to bring his own constituency uh, to bear on his position as Secretary of the Commonwealth, but I gather he is making a statement as Secretary of the Commonwealth on, on this issue. Um, as far as where the campaign goes from here, it's, uh, really, it's really in the hands of the politicians now. And um, if Nigeria decides to go ahead, then we have to sit down and think uh, where the Ugandan people are and take stock of our situation and see where we go from there. Yesterday you said that the Commonwealth and this meeting was in some respects your last chance. It's all moved on from there. What's your feelings this morning? Well, that's, it's merely confirmed what we said yesterday. This is the last chance because if, if the Commonwealth doesn't do anything, then surely my father and the other Ghanaians will be executed. And, and you know, it's, we've said it, we've said it for over a year now. Um, we're now at crunch point. This is this is the time when the politicians now uh, have to uh, have to act. What about your father himself? How do you think he will cope with this morning's news? Um, I think it'll be very difficult. All through his ordeal, he's been very strong. Um, and he's remained defiant, but I think now the reality of the situation is, is, is dawning on him, and uh, I can't imagine that he'll be taking any, uh, you know, he'll be remaining as, as strong.